Stepney, the Bluebell engine, was busy talking to the other engines. It was his first visit to their railway, and he was having a splendid time. You are very lucky engines, he said. Your line has got everything. It's long enough to give you a good run, and you have plenty of passengers. Then you have a quarry and a mine, so you need plenty of cars. Cars are fun. I miss them on our line. Percy was surprised. All the engines thought cars were trouble. You're welcome to take some of mine, he said, but you'd better ask driver first. Their drivers agreed and the two engines set off. Thomas and Toby were speechless. Stepney took the cars to the harbor. Then he picked up a load of empty ones and started back. Ahead was a cricket field. The game had just begun. Stepney and his driver had to wait at a signal. Good, said his driver. We can watch the game. Then there was trouble. The batsman hit the ball. It flew high into the sky towards Stepney's train. Clunk went the signal. Thump went the ball into a car, but neither driver nor fireman heard it. Stop! yelled the players, but Stepney didn't hear them. Come along, come along, he puffed to the cars. Our one and only ball! cried the players. Wake up, Caroline, they said to their old car. The chase is on. Caroline coughed crossly and rolled down the road. Stepney wasn't hurrying. Caroline soon came up behind. Toot, toot, she wailed. The players shouted, but Stepney was still too far away for his driver and fireman to see or hear properly. They completely misunderstood. If those jokers want a race, said the driver, they can have one. Faster, Stepney, faster! Poor Caroline wasn't happy at all. She rattled along at twice her usual speed. I shouldn't be treated like this, she grumbled. This pace is too hot for my system. It'll fuse all my circuits. Suddenly, Stepney was nowhere to be seen. Yahoo! That silly train has run into a hole, so we can't catch it. I can go home now. But she couldn't. Her driver pounded Caroline on up the steep hill, and then down the other side toward the station. Stepney was already there when Caroline cluttered in. We need our ball back, cried the players, and explained everything. The ball was nestled under some straw in the third car from the van. We found it, cried a player. We're sorry, sighed the driver. Oh, you couldn't help it, replied the player. Now we must get back quickly. You'll be lucky, said the driver. Caroline looks worn out. And she was. The driver spoke to the station master and the signal man, and they all agreed on a plan. Soon they had rolled Caroline onto a flat car with a brake van coupled behind. The players crowded inside, and Stepney pulled the train back to the playing field. Everyone enjoyed watching the game. Even Caroline was pleased. She doesn't think trains silly now. They have their uses. They can save wear and tear on a poor car's wheel.